If you are dealing with a fatty liver, these supplements are going to be great, but you also need to make sure that you get the refined flours and sugars away and the toxic oils because the liver is your detox organ. So anytime we bring synthetic chemicals into our body, the liver has to filter it. Anytime we do curcumin, we want to add pepper to it, black pepper because of this pepperine component, but this 2000% absorption increase is pretty significant. On this video, I really wanna go through some supplements that are going to help you reverse fatty liver disease. And if you're new to my channel first, I just wanna say welcome. And I've done a lot on fatty liver disease. So I wanna make sure that if this is the first time you've come to my channel that you understand there's a lot here on fatty liver because unfortunately, especially here in America, the current research is showing that over 50% of Americans, 50% of Americans are going to have fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty, fatty li liver disease um, by the year 2030, which is in five years. So this is a really big problem that is very reversible. So on this video, I want to talk specifically about the supplements that you can add in to support your liver and the research that I found behind those. Before I do that, you know I always love to give you the why behind everything so that you feel empowered and you understand your body. Um, what I want you to understand is that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is happening because of the overconsumption of highly processed foods. And highly processed foods can, are a combination of refined flours refined sugar. So this is your white flour, your white sugar, and mixed with toxic oils. So the toxic oils are canola oil, cottonseed oil, corn oil. There's a long list of them. I wrote in both Fast Like a Girl and Eat Like a Girl. I have these long lists, so you can go look them up. But if you are dealing with a fatty liver, I want you to first start, I mean, these, these supplements are going to be great, but you also need to make sure that you get the refined flours and sugars away and the toxic oils. The last thing that I will point out is even environmental toxins can affect fatty liver disease. You know, a lot of people go, oh, well, I don't need to have refined, if I can't have refined sugar, then what I will do is I will have you know, NutraSweet or some version of a synthetic sugar. And those toxins also can be damaging to the liver because the liver is your detox organ. So anytime we bring synthetic chemicals into our body, the liver has to filter it. So make sure you don't make the mistake of switching over into some kind of synthetic sugar. Let's just get the chemicals out. Let's get the refined uh, flours and sugar out and let's switch our oils. Okay. With that basis in mind, let's talk about these supplements. So the first one is milk thistle. Now, milk thistle is really interesting because it's been used to treat not al alcoholic fatty liver disease and hepatitis. And what's really exciting about milk thistle is that the seeds and the fruit of milk thistle are, thistle are, thistle are rich in a, a component called silymarin. And silymarin is a very, very powerful antioxidant that is really good for liver function. There was a 2010 review in the Journal of Phytotherapy, phyto meaning plant, phytotherapy research found that silymarin supplements protect your liver in two ways. First, they protect your liver by reducing inflammation. So think of the liver as a filter system. So, you know, if you have like a water filter system in your house, you have to change that cartridge out frequently and put a new cartridge in because it gets all gooked up. Well, the same thing can happen in your liver where there's your liver's been working so hard to be able to filter all these toxins out that now it is inflamed. And what this review found was that silymarin is not only this powerful antioxidant, but that it in decreases the, the oxidative stress-related scarring. So let's think about this in a moment. This filter that's getting rid of all of these toxins 
it actually creates scarring in your liver. And silymarin can actually help to reduce that scarring and the inflammation that's associated with that scarring. We also know from this review that preventing damage from toxins, silymarin can really create this protective effect on your liver. So as toxins are coming in from either alcohol, which is a toxin to the liver, acetaminophen is a toxin to the liver, excess sugar is a toxin, that you have some sort of protection. So a great way to apply this is those of you that when you do drink, have some milk thistle beforehand so before you drink so you're creating a protective effect there. I'm not saying that that gives you free li- license to just drink whatever you want, but it is a beautiful way to give the liver some support before you have a glass of wine or a beer or some kind of drink as a preventative effect. Now, a 2022 study in the Metabolism of Open Journal gave non-alcoholic fatty liver disease patients 560 milligrams of milk thistle every single day for eight weeks. And what they found was that it significantly lowered overall non-alcoholic fatty liver disease scores. So it normalized liver enzymes and it decreased the markers of liver inflammation. So again, that was 560 milligrams of milk thistle every single day for eight weeks. And we they saw some, some changes in the blood markers that indicate non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now, the second nutrient that I want you to think about if you're contending with this situation, this this chronic disease right now, is curcumin. Now, curcumin is the phytonutrient that is found in turmeric. It's one of the most potent anti-inflammatory compounds in the world. There are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of research done on curcumin, and we'll talk a little bit about the combination of curcumin and how you get the most out of your curcumin. But this continues to be a very beneficial nutrient that's found in the root turmeric. And if you're not familiar with turmeric, turmeric looks a lot like ginger. Um, It's kind of the same root family. I can get it in my grocery store. It's a little bit, looks a little bit like a worm. And, but it's the curcumin in turmeric that matters for your, for, for liver health. And a 2019 study in the phytotherapy research found that curcumin decreased levels of ALT and AST, two enzymes that are linked and and abnormally high in in people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So those of you who have been diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, My guess is your doctor looked at your blood results and said you are high in ALT, your your liver enzymes, ALT and AST are high. That is a marker of liver stress. And what this study found is curcumin decreased the inflammation of of your liver. It reduced ALT and AST. And it discouraged lipid storage in the liver, returning the liver back to normal over time. That's how powerful curcumin is. There was another study in phytomedicine that found that curcumin prevents fat deposition or deposits on your liver. It reduces scarring uh, in cirrhosis. And all it took, what this study found is it took 500 to 1,000 milligrams of curcumin every single day to reverse this scarring, to bring the inflammation down, and to create this protective effect around the liver. So what's also interesting about curcumin, and something I really just want to point out here so that you get the most out of your curcumin, is you always want to put it with black pepper. And the reason for that is it improves the absorption of curcumin in your body. So black pepper has a component called pepperine, and pepperine increases the curcumin absorption by nearly 2,000%. This is a study that's been going on. It came out in 2017 in the journal, a journal called Foods. And 
Hopefully you've heard this before. This became quite popular in the mainstream media. And that's that anytime we do curcumin, we want to add pepper to it, black pepper because of this pepperine component. But this 2000% absorption increase is pretty significant. So wherever you get your curcumin, make sure it's a clean source and that it has pepper in it. Now, the third nutrient that I, I want to talk about as far as liver protection and specifically how to help you with a fatty liver is a nutrient that's called incetol. Incetol is a type of sugar found in nuts and whole grains. And your liver and your kidneys also produce incetol naturally. So usually sugar is bad. So hold with me here for a second. I know you, you're like, wait a second. I just heard you say don't eat sugar. So usually sugar is really bad, but unlike dietary sugar, which causes limit liver damage, incetol actually improves both your glycemic control and your liver function. So it's a very specific type of, of sugar that is found in nuts and whole grains. So it's, it's if you take a nut and a whole grain and you break it down, you're going to have this in, in, in acetol nutrient type sugar in it that is protective. So a 2020 study in nutrients found that inositol deficiencies are cause greater liver fat accumulation. And so we want to, not only does your liver make this type of sugar, but, and not only can you get it in nuts and seeds, but if you're deficient in it, it increases your liver fat accumulation. And if you take a inositol uh, supplement, you can increase that gluconeogenesis that is happening in the liver. And this is really important because a lot of you, when you're fasting, you're finding that you're not metabolically switching over into this ketogenic state. And a lot of times that's because you have so much stored sugar in your liver. And in order to stimulate gluconeogenesis, which is getting that stored glycogen, gly glycogen is a term we use for stored glucose, getting that to, to release into the system and out of the liver is really important. And, and this inositol supplement can really, really have a profound effect on releasing sugar from the liver. We also have evidence from this 2020 study in nutrients that inositol actually can increase glutathione. Glutathione is one of the master antioxidants uh, in your system. It is made by your mitochondria and it protects your liver from scarring and damaging. So it, you may have not, this is a unique nutrient that you might not find and you just have to look for it, right? It's like you may have not, it may not be on your radar. It's, we will, we will put some links in here on how these studies that I'm, I'm giving you, but also some, some resources and how you spell it. So you, those of you that are like, what is she saying? You can actually get the actual spelling. So, okay. You know how, when you're trying to get in and out of fat burner, sugar burner, and sometimes you struggle, it might be that you have a metabolic blocker that's at play here. Want to know what those blockers are? Click on the link above and I'll take it straight to a giveaway and you can have my list of metabolic blockers. There was also, just before I finish this up, I want to point out that the Frontiers in Nutrition 2023 study, because I know you all love the dosages here. This study, what they found is they gave patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease 4,000 milligrams of inositol and did that in comparison to a placebo. And they gave them 4,000 milligrams for eight weeks. And they found that inositol group literally reversed their non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So they decreased fat accumulation in the liver. It normalized the, the liver a enzyme, a AST and ALT, and they brought the inflammatory biomarkers down. And there are four grades to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and four being the most severe. And in this study, they found that 33% of the patients in the inositol group went down at least one grade by the end of eight weeks. So this is, this is a powerful nutrient and one that might not be on your radar. 
So make sure that you are looking into these studies, that you you can bring videos like this, you can bring studies like this to your doctor so you can end up in better a better conversation. In fact, I highly recommend it. A large reason why I link the studies on my videos is so you can have a very educated, collaborative discussion with your doctor. Science-based information is what really resonates with your doctor. So when you want to speak their language and, and, and work with them on an equal level, you bring studies like the ones that I'm talking here about. But I, but, you know, overall, it's incredibly concerning that we have such a high level of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And that is largely happening because of our toxic food supply and the the chemicals and the oils and the amount of refined flours and sugars that are allowed in our food system. And so please know that we need to make those changes and you can heal your liver with supplements like the three that I just mentioned. So you're not at the mercy of a diagnosis like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, you have a lot more control than perhaps you've been taught. So I congratulate you for coming to this video, sticking through it this long, and really trying to take control of your own health because that's what my videos are here to do, is give you some really science-based, sound explanations of strategies you could apply that will put you back in control of your own health. So let me know if they're helpful. Let me know if you need more information on any of this in, that I'm talking about in this video or any of my videos. But most importantly, know that I am cheering you on. You are not a, a victim to your diagnosis. You are not a victim to your genetics. You are not a victim to a food system that doesn't care about your health. You are in control of your own health. You just got to get yourself educated and hopefully videos like this are helping you do that. So as always, I'm believing in you. I'm cheering you on and I hope this video helped. I don't want you to waste money on supplements. Your body's a miracle. Buy the right ones. Sometimes you don't buy them at all. Check out this video so you don't waste money on your supplement. When we do the same probiotic over and over and over again, what we're doing is we're creating a monoculture in our gut. 